Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in downtown Jackson, Michigan, today's show is brought to you by GoToMeeting, your place for online collaboration. They really know how to do their work. Big time. Uh, this is the Android App Show episode number 88 this week. Uh, we're going to talk about an update for Google Chrome and an update for your Facebook app. And we have a couple of games to review as well. Pretty excited about these. That's awesome. Let's get to it. Welcome to the Android App Show. Mm. Yeah. The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. This is the Android App Show, and uh, we got a lot of stuff going on this week, don't we? I mean, we're still in the new studio. That's good. Things haven't totally broken apart. Yeah. It's uh, still It's working. still under construction, too. Yeah, it is. So if you hear anybody <laughs> hammering or sawing or, like, dust flying around, it was so dusty in here. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was awesome. So you might <laughs> see, like, we didn't, like, manufacture the glow in the studio this week. It's actually just dust particles. So if <laughs> we start coughing. The Barbara Walters soft focus yeah, exactly. interview. <laughs> so I'm Dave and I'm Lane and uh, we got a fun show today we got we actually have a couple other people in the studio today oh yeah let's give a shout out to the uh, producers, producers back there we got Corey and Jake that's the hand of Corey the uh, hand of Corey and the face of Jake <laughs> yeah. very nice guys thank you for uh, producing the show and uh, if you see somebody in the background there um, that is not the ghost of the studio. That is Neil Hardcastle. He's doing some construction, and he is rocking this place. He's making it look good. He's doing a killer job. So thanks Tearing to him. it apart first, though. Tearing it apart. That's, that's the fun part. That is the fun part. <laughs> and luckily, he can put it together pretty good, too. So. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into some news. Yeah. Uh, there's some pretty big news Wait, this week. Before we get into news, though. Ooh. We got something special to announce. Yes. We have an advertiser for the show. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Go to meeting as the advertiser for today's show. And um, yeah, they They're all about collaboration. They are. You and know. right now with a very special special offer, uh, well, it's, it's not really a special offer, but you can um, do face-to-face -face meetings virtually. Yeah, and there's nothing like a face-to-face -face meeting to get stuff done. Uh, you know, a lot of communication that people do between each other, in fact, is nonverbal. Yeah. So uh, you'd be surprised the just the amount of uh, clarity in your communication that you can achieve using GoToMeeting. And you can use it on your desktop. You can use it on your iPad mm -hmm. uh, or on your iPhone. I'm not sure about their uh, Android offerings. They gotta get it working together. Yeah, Come they gotta they gotta pull that together. I'm sure they're working. Uh, on. But it works awesome on the desktop. Uh, you can set up unlimited meetings. I mean, like use up all of your time uh, just meeting, 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 because that's what we use up for all of our time anyway. Yeah. Um, but this is just brings it to the next level because it doesn't matter where you are. You can collaborate from New York to San Francisco and not have to get on a plane. You can't beat that. Oh, dude, you know what's really crazy? So this isn't part of the advertisement. This is just some news about them. Yeah. The, the online collaboration tool that we use to manage all this whole space here yeah. Patio, just purchased by Citrix. Yeah, so now they're part of the GoToMeeting family. Yeah, part of the family, so <laughs> it's crazy. But I love GoToMeeting. Like, you can really just, like, get work done, and, like, there's nothing like that um, actually meeting people. And with this HD Faces thing, dude, that is a game changer right there because you can still get that stuff that you don't intention or necessarily have with those online meetings, but you can get, like, a... A good connection with the people you're meeting with. So, start hosting your own face-to-face -face meetings online today with GoToMeeting. Our listeners can get 30 days for free. That's unlimited meetings that you can host. You can always go to a meeting, but unlimited hosting of a meeting for 30 days. Don't wait for the special offer. Uh, visit GoToMeeting.com, click Try It Free, and use the promo code PODCAST. Be sure to use that promo code PODCAST. Because that gives us a nice little, little uh, credit. A little there. bump. It's little. a way to support the show. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we and we thank GoToMeeting for uh, sponsoring the show. Yeah, absolutely. We don't get a commission, but we do appreciate their support. Yes. So, so let's get into the news then. Uh, first up on the list is Amazon is finally offering in-app payments uh, for developers. Nice. So if you're uh, selling your app through the Amazon store or you have it for free, uh, you can now use the freemium model, which has become very popular on the Android, uh, what do they call it now, the Google Play Store. It used to be the Android Marketplace. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's like the, I think, the most profitable model they have set up. Well, yeah, I mean, this is... Because people don't want to pay for apps. This has been, <laughs> it's been used a long time in, like, the Apple App Store and the Google Marketplace, but, like, it's cool to see, like, these third-party apps, third-party markets, like, really actually competing on a serious level. Yeah, stepping up, because, really, I think this was the last thing that Amazon didn't have in place uh, to mm-hmm. compete completely with Apple. I mean, yeah. they have all the video and the books and everything like that that uh, in the TV shows and stuff. And it totally makes sense for them to do to, to move into this because, like, the Kindle Fire, that's, like, all marketing. Like, it's, like, totally sale-driven. Like, everything is selling you a book or selling you a movie or whatever. Like, that's what makes it so great. Yeah. And, well, this is even really, I think, putting Amazon, like, one step up. Like, they finally matched everything that mm-hmm. Apple has. Um, but Amazon also has an unlimited streaming service, oh. uh, which Apple does not have. No. So. Unless you buy Netflix. Yeah, but you can also. Unless Apple buys Netflix. Yeah. Mind blown. Ooh, not going to do it. <laughs> no. Uh, but, yeah, that's so that's kind of a big deal. There'll be a lot more rich, uh, much richer app experience, I think, on Kindle now. Kind of a big deal. Um, the next Talking bit of news. Talking about richer experience. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, so the Chrome beta is out. Uh, for the Android 4.0 devices, okay. and they've updated it. Let's let's go to the gadget cam here. Uh, we'll pull up a view of the tablet. Uh, so now on the top of the device, there's actually more Chrome. This is kind of ironic because uh, when Google first made Chrome, they said part of the reason was they wanted to reduce the amount of browser Chrome, like have the browser get out of the way of the experience. Uh, well, that's before a, that's a lot of use of the word Chrome right there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, before, you used to just have an address bar that went across, and you had a button to over here next to this menu button that uh, you use to manage your tabs. Now the tabs go across the top. Uh, but on the phone, if I go and unlock my phone here, nobody can see my password. It, it kind of makes sense to have... The, they like have this. the uh, same old system where it's just uh, the address bar across the top. with. It's like a stripped-down UI. Yeah, and then you manage your tabs like that. That's not so bad. Your tabs and switch through them and close them and stuff. But yeah, I like it. Uh, it makes it feel a lot more like a desktop. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it looks a lot more now like the uh, iPad browser, mm, it does, <laughs> how it yeah. was updated or whatever. Uh, but I don't know. I like Chrome, so it's, it shouldn't yeah. be any surprise that I like the update. I wish there was Chrome on the iPad. When are they coming out with that? Come on. That would be cool. I'm sure there's, uh, yeah. I'm a jealous Apple user. <laughs> yeah, because you uh, even use Chrome on your uh, desktop, right? Exclusively. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it used to be Firefox was the geek browser, but now it's Chrome all the yeah. way. I mean, and now with this uh, update, too, uh, actually it was about a week ago. Uh, we didn't record a show last week. Mm-hmm. Um, but they also enabled it to uh, cross your windows back, your tabs back over to your device. So like on, it used to be before when they released Chrome for Android, you can open up your tabs that you had on your Android device on your desktop browser nice. and pull them up, whatever. It synced to everything. Now with the latest update, you can open up your desktop desktop tabs. Why am I having mm-hmm. such a problem with that? Uh-huh. Uh, on your tablet or phone. So you kind of get that sync back to your mobile device. That's pretty cool. A lot of times I'll leave something open on my home desktop and I'd be like, what the heck was that site or whatever? And now you can just pull it right up inside mm. uh, your phone. Sounds like you've been drinking the Chrome Kool-Aid. It's, it tastes good. See, <laughs> see the reference? Boom. Hey, Kool-Aid man. It's the Kool-Aid shirt. Don't hate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, some other updates. Yeah, Facebook has updated their app on uh, cool. Now, I guess let me give you just a short little brief thing. Facebook released this Messenger app separate. Yeah. 
on Android so that you could do messaging or whatever. Uh, I thought that was kind of weird. Well, uh, it's kind of nice because it's super stripped down. Like we have, we, we've had this for iOS for a little while. Yeah. And like it does all the push notifications for mes- messaging. Like it's just a super slick, clean, fast way to do messaging because you don't want to get load up the full Facebook and have all those photos and everything load up when you just want to get to your messages and pound out some like direct messages and just like boom. Well, one of the it's interesting nice. things about Google Plus is that uh, whenever you install it, it also installs a like a shortcut link yeah. uh, for the Google Plus oh, Messenger. And it goes right to that. Well, now Facebook does the same thing. Really? Uh, they have a shortcut link that goes right in your app drawer uh, for Messenger, and you can put that on your desktop or open it in your app drawer, oh, and buddy. it opens up the Facebook app, but it's right inside the messaging screen, oh. so it doesn't make you go through anything else. So you don't have to have two apps. No, you just oh, install the Facebook app, and you have Messenger and a camera app. What? Yeah, this thing is uh, pretty cool. Let's see if I can uh, pull it up on the phone. Uh, but right here on my home screen, down here I have a Facebook camera app, and it just looks a little bit different. Yeah, I'm off screen, sorry. It just looks a little different from the other one. It's kind of got some blue hues uh, to mm-hmm. it to give it like that Facebook quality. A blue Facebook camera button. And you just hit a, just take a photo and it uploads? Yep. Take a picture. It'll last That's longer. That's an exciting picture. Uh, confirm it. And then it automatically, you just type in whatever. And huh. well, I got the keyboard up. And it's sharing it right to Facebook right now. Oh, wow. So. That's fast. Yeah. It makes it uh, super easy. And I, you know, I'm impressed. Of course, it's pretty easy to share stuff to Facebook using the native camera app. And especially on Android 4.0, mm-hmm. you'll get extra features in your native camera app, like uh, panoramic photos yeah. and all this other stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this is just, you know, it's dead easy. Fast. Yeah, it's fast. And that, and that really is the point. You want to share something to Facebook, you hit that, and, it, you know, you're right inside mm-hmm. that experience. And for most users, you know, a lot of our viewer, viewers are probably a little bit more uh, technologically astute yeah. uh, but for most people this is going to be what they want to do anyway you know they they want that very simple straightforward open your facebook mm-hmm. camera app take the picture share it you i know, don't know you're done. one billion dollars says differently lane <laughs> uh yeah but we'll again see. that's <laughs> the base for instagram yeah uh was a lot smaller than, than facebook than yes. facebook so yes but i can see them totally in- integrating like Instagram into this kind of thing. Definitely. Or like I mean, it where your would Facebook be camera app just becomes like a Instagram. Instagram built yeah, you know, built in f- uh, filters and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I think that the separateness of Instagram yeah. gives it its value. Yeah. Or if or, or when you download the Facebook app, it like it puts Instagram on there. Yeah. It either puts Instagram on there or like the camera link goes to Instagram. Yeah. I think that maybe okay. uh, with the the smart move, at least in my opinion, would be to find a way to integrate Instagram as like the photo uh, operation part of Facebook, so that you have like a yeah. like a branding or whatever inside Facebook uh, that's more like a photo stream instead of your personal photos. Right. So yeah, yeah, some kind of like little photo blog. Yeah. It's hard because it's hard because Instagram has no website. No, <laughs> it's like what are it's you? It's mobile what? only. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently it was a smart move. Apparently. I mean they they got uh, they got that money. <laughs> yeah. To the bank. All right. Well, on to the app reviews. Yeah. We're uh, gonna talk about some app reviews here. Yeah. This week, uh, we have two games that we're reviewing. Uh, this first one is called Gravitire 3D. Ooh. I think that's what we have first, right, producers? It is. All right. Yeah, I just locked my tablet when I didn't need to. Whoops. So let's go to the gadget cam and play some Gravitire 3D. How are we doing here? We're doing good. We're doing good. You just get that and I'll fix her up. That's, that's pretty good. All right. So here we go. Pop open this app. Uh, if you've ever played Tiny Wings for iOS or yeah. uh, Dragonfly for Android, uh, you kind of get the the idea here. Uh, you got different levels to go through. 
I've been playing this on my phone, not on the tablet, so I don't have all the levels on this yeah, unlocked. Right. You're just not very good. Whatever. Just kidding. It's a very simple operation. You're going up and down hills, and when you're going down a hill, you want to hold down on the screen. Okay? And It's just tires? Yeah. Dude, if you want to see a freaky movie... There we go. ...on YouTube or Netflix, it's called Rubber. It's not. It's just like this. I it's just, just like this, but it's a tire that kills people. There we go. It's called rubber. Yeah, so you hold down when mm-hmm. you're going down the hill, and Sweet. it kind of adds extra gravity Whoa. to speed up your tire. But you've played Tiny Wings before, right? Yeah. Kids, don't try this at home. Don't crawl on a tire and try this. The cool thing about this, like, Tiny Wings was a, like a side-scroller. Yeah, this 2D. is like a first person. Yeah, so you've kind of got to be able to judge... <laughs> Distances, which can be kind of hard with this texturing on the ground sometimes. Yeah, yeah, they don't have very good, like, light shadow things. But it keeps track of, uh, well, you get you get better at it. Yeah. It keeps track of, like, your highest jumps and your longest jumps. And the tracks are never the same. Like, with Tiny Wings, you have, or, or with the Dragonfly game, uh, the tracks are pretty much always the same. And that's that's part of the hook of those games is that you get used to uh, the different areas of it, and you get better. Uh, with this, it's dynamically generated uh, every time you play it. What's so this called like, again? Uh, Gravitire 3D. Like Gravitire is uh, one word, G-R-A-V-I-T-I-R-E, I think it is. Yeah, I don't know if it's for iOS. Ooh. You should check it out. Tis, tis. But it's pretty simple. I mean, you're just touching the screen and letting go. And again, cents. when you go down the hill, you hold down and... You know, when you're going up the hill, you want to let off. And you want to try and time these jumps so that, you know, you can get uh, the best speed, too. Yeah. Because you'll, when you're coming into... You're catching up to the other tires. Yeah. So that when you land, you want to go, like, right after the hill so that you can get that downward Oh, uh, dude, push. yeah. So you, this goes you on for a while You want to be in your optimal you flow here. Oh, yeah, if you push... Oh, yeah, that slows you down if you push down during... Yeah, hill. if you go up. Because <laughs> it's extra gravity. Yeah. All right, so... That's oh. nice. Oh. So you can turn off the sound and stuff. Go back to the game, restart the level. Or we'll go back even farther. Uh, you can play multiplayer on here on Facebook. You just log in. And it's supposed to, like chain up your friends and all this other good stuff. You know, the Facebook way. Yeah. So it's a pretty basic app, uh, which, you know, for better or worse, it is what it is. Um, but I think that the concept of it is pretty simple, and uh, it gets kind of uh, addicting, you know, because mm-hmm. you could just, you know, you, you, you'll play it for a while and you get into it and then you just don't realize how long you've been playing it. And that's how you know it's a good app, I think. That, well, that's, my, that's the way I you know, judge them. I'm like, holy crap, what am I doing? You know? <laughs> so it's Gravitire uh, 3D. And uh, how much is that, guys, on the, on the market? Free, it says. Yeah, totally free because it's ad-supported. Oh, my gosh. But on iOS, right? 99 cents. 99 they do have cents. a light version, though. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, definitely check that out. Now, uh, this next app that we have is called uh, Radiant Defense. Oh, boy. And uh, this is just a pretty app. <laughs> uh, this one oh, wow. is developed by Hexage, I think is the how you say it. Hexage or Hexage. That's hot. And the music on this is pretty awesome. They'll, they'll put like little messages up here that you can read. You know, they want you to rate it or whatever. Um, but we've reviewed other apps uh, by the same developer. And uh, I don't know, I really like them. Like Evac HD and Radiant HD. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So keep track of your scores. There's some options in here for music and sounds. Uh, restore purchases. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and I'll show you what that's all about later. This is a free app. Oh, I didn't want to do that. You got different levels on here uh, that you go through, and it keeps track of like your star ratings. 
Again, this one I I played on my phone. I'm up to, I believe, this level right here on my phone. Well, let's go back through here. This is a good example. And then click this to play. Maybe. You broke it. Ah. Uh, oh, it was just loading. It'd be nice if they showed you. But uh, if you've played Radiant HD, this was got to seem very familiar to you. The music, uh, this whole talking thing, and the sound effects that it does when it's reading. So you've got good guys, and you've got this bad guy that you're fighting. You can click down here on this jump arrow, and it'll skip over that. The point is, it's tower defense. You've got uh, originating vortex over here. You click on it, it'll tell you what's going to come through. And then you have this scaffolding in the level uh, that you can click on and then click on module. You can like build a module there and it'll uh, redirect the uh, flow of traffic. So you can build it out. Uh, different levels have more complicated setups or whatever, but who needs complication? These are all your different weapons that you have. Uh, some of the higher level ones require like factories or something like that, you know, basically power-up stations you have to build it before you can build them. But you've got your basic stuff down here, uh, your fast, higher rate uh, shooting, uh, the lower rate shooting, which is higher damage and splash, da uh, splash damage, and then lasers. And then you've got different stuff for slowing down and uh, for sending out like a shockwave. Um, but they do some really cool uh, things on here, like this right here is uh, like a power plant for lack of a better term. Um, but then if you uh, look at these other ones here, uh, you don't actually get to build these until you buy them. So like they have one power up uh, that like uh, makes it so that if you destroy something, then it gives you more money, but you have to, you have to pay real money to buy that. Now you can play the game, you know what I mean, and not ever pay any money to buy these in-app, you know, extra things. Um, but it's just some some little boosts and, you know, different uh, experiences for the game that you can purchase. Because, I mean, the game is free itself. Um, but you, you know, just pay a little bit more uh, for these extra things in there. And it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. So let's build a couple uh, things here and show you what it's like. If you've got a... You've probably played Tower Defense before. They send through waves and it goes through and your guys shoot them. You've got a little double arrow up here, you tap that and it'll speed things up. You kinda wanna save up your money up here during the level because at the end you get a percentage based on how much you have. It kinda compounds, so you get interest. And it does all this uh, these stats. If you want to skip them, you can press that jump arrow that's down there in the bottom right corner. Uh, that jump arrow becomes your friend because you'll want to jump through a bunch of stuff. You can click on individual towers and go down here and upgrade. They got these same sound effects that uh, you know are in Evac HD and all this other work. I mean, like he he recycles uh, Hexage. The developer recycles a lot of uh, stuff, but this whole glowing '80s kind of uh, motif that he's got going on and the sound effects, I mean, it's winning, so why change what, uh, what's, you know, don't fix what ain't broken. And plus, these sound effects are awesome. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it was going to give me the, uh, do 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 I like that one. Uh, and when you build modules, you can also remove them if you double tap uh, back on it again. But you can't remove ones that you did not build. So, there's that. Uh, up here you have your money, your modules that you have left that you can place, uh, your uh, lives left, like it takes away lives whenever uh, one of the bad guys gets over here to your reactor, uh, and then what wave you're on over there on the far right side. That's pretty much everything. Uh, when you pause or when you get to the end, uh, like if you fail, you can retry the wave, uh, which if you're, like if the flaw that 
caused you to lose isn't too bad, you could just retry. Um, but there's also a reset mission, which will take you clear back to the very beginning of the mission and uh, let you start over again. So, and a lot of times you'll have to do that because you went wrong somewhere that just wasn't acceptable. <laughs> so, uh, but that is, uh, that's it for that. That is, what is the name of that app again? I just locked my uh, thing and I have a horrible memory. Uh, Radiant, Defense. <laughs> Radiant, Radiant Defense. <laughs> so, get it now, it is free. I downloaded that entire game and I'm playing that entire game right now. It's just insane, I love this thing. I know, it's so simple. I am addicted to this. I, I don't know what it is about it. It's the hills, or so, there's something about that rocking it's motion. Yeah. It's like, makes me feel like I'm in the womb again. And there's all kinds of different backgrounds. Like it, it changes locations. So. Oh, I'm going so freaking fast right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got it. <laughs> all right, guys. I think that that is everything we wanted to talk about today, right? Oh, sorry about that. Yes, absolutely. Whew. So. Good show. If you want to uh, keep up with us, we are tweeting. We are on the Twitters. We got some tweets. Uh, Twitter.com slash Android App Show mm -hmm. is, the, uh, is the URL. Yes. And you feel free to tweet us from there. We like comments. We like responses. We like knowing what's going on. Do you like the show? Do you like the new studio? What else do you want to see? Do you want to see us, like, you know, do some polka dancing or something? Try to keep our ear to the streets. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, you can also check out our videos on YouTube.com slash The Android App Show. That's right. Uh, yeah, we post all of our full episodes on there, and we even sprinkle in some extras. Sprinkled. So uh, check it out. Uh, you can also check out other independently produced podcasts uh, like this by other people at Blueberry.com. Uh, that is B-L-U-B-R-R-Y.com. Yep, and uh, also don't forget to check out the, our sponsor, GoToMeeting. They've really been a, a solid sponsor for us, so just check them out. Use the promo code podcast. Definitely. Yeah, Good and uh, our website, yes. uh, theandroidappshow.com, which has been recently kind of uh, redesigned. Yeah. Uh, and we also have a, a new Android app uh, that works on oh your phone, gosh. tablet, and Google TV. Yeah. Uh, so just search the market for Android App Show, all one word, or go to our website and click on the link. Very cool. So if you have the old app, it is not, it won't upgrade or whatever you like. You oh, gotta install the new app. It's a brand new. Yes, brand new. It's making a like the other one that had some weird name spacing and stuff yeah. like that. So. Can we remove it and like delete it off everybody's phones? Uh, no, oh. but like I removed it from the market, <laughs> okay. but there's still like a couple thousand people <laughs> yeah. with it installed. So, you know, what are you going to do? Nothing. Yeah. So install the new app, people. Check it out. Hmm. All right. Maybe I'll review it next time. Oh, ooh, that wouldn't be a conflict of interest. <laughs> <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching the show. <laughs>